you two. Three. In today's video, Kevin and I are catching oh, a couple oh, of heifers at the Ponderosa, loading them up, and we're headed to Oklahoma City. We've got to work some animals there, and we're selling two of our heifers. Follow us along. Hey guys, Dusty Baker and Kevin Lynch back across the Bison. We're at the Ponderosa. There's Dunbar. Good morning, Dunbar. Jackie, Haas, got the crew. It's time to go to Oklahoma City. We're gonna sell our two heifers, two two-year-old heifers. We got some work to do because we have we're struggling catching them. So Kevin and I are gonna load them up, take them to Oklahoma City. We're gonna sell them. Follow us along on a uh, bison sell headed to Oklahoma City State Fair guys. Loading up bison in the rain. Need these two right here. Kevin and I are out here. Trying to get them loaded up. Come on. You two. Three. Windy. Cold. Let's see what they do here. Well, we got them caught. I had to set up a freestanding panel, kind of an, a temporary alley from here to there and across. So we had to put one panel up. Uh, luckily, we got Daniel's tractor from Armstrong Family Homestead, the TYM, because the skid steer is at the cabins right now. Everybody's all hyped up. Dunbar's even hyped up. And Haas, I don't know what's, the, what's going on. Everybody's jazzed up, loving the weather, I guess. All right, now it's time to load these heifers up. Let's get them loaded. Both heifers are loaded, sorted, locked down, ready to go. Safety first. Heifers loaded, I'm gonna push them to the front real quick. Maybe. We're headed to Oklahoma City. It's about an hour and a half drive to the state fairgrounds. Hi right, guys, made it to Oklahoma City. Welcome to the state fairgrounds. An awesome, awesome place. You can't get any better facilities right here in the state of Oklahoma. I, uh, a lot of reminiscing here because I used to show, show sheep here in a lot of these barns back in the day, um, in the springtime here. A lot of work here, a lot of learning, um, a lot of disappointment, challenges. All that stuff when I was a munchkin, but met a lot of cool people being part of FFA and stuff. But it's kind of fun to be back here uh, now with a couple of bison here of our own that we're selling here. Very excited. So I got to go in there and actually be a president and do some, <laughs> do some Oklahoma Bison Association stuff. We had 45 animals show up yesterday that we worked. Now uh, we're expected to have almost 120 animals, but big rain has came through Oklahoma the past two days and it may be difficult for some people to actually catch them work them and all that depending on their facilities and how much rain they got so we could have almost 120 could have more may have roughly 100 who knows uh, today but if we get over a hundred animals so 60 more today we'll be all super excited um, about this so we're going to got some people on the way I'm gonna work the hydraulic squeeze chute with Doc 
I'm putting on back tags and doing some of that work and uh, we're gonna get all the animals brought in today uh, they'll be judged later this evening and then tomorrow tonight we'll have a banquet uh, we'll have a social we'll hang out together uh, and we'll have a little meeting do all that and then tomorrow the barn opens at 8 o'clock and then the sale actually started at 11 so our two heifers in here uh, 11 and then 145 will be in here to also tell you who the sire and the dam of these are um, I got their hair pulled and I got the samples back I want to let you know who these are I've been talking about them and they've been in there with Dunbar and Haas we're also getting get a preg check today um, as they come through and uh, our vet he's also working the sale as well and he's gonna be able to tell us uh, if they're pregnant or not and then we'll be able to classify them from there but for sure uh, two-year-old heifers anyways we'll talk more about our heifers and uh, they'll be they're ready to breed essentially um, coming this summer and uh, that's exciting but hopefully they're bred if not that's okay they were exposed anyways we go in here get some work done I'll show you us working ours and getting them in all the um, pins and stuff like that so see you guys soon I don't either. I wish I want to do it. A little kick. A little I think it feels. Oh, it doesn't matter. This is the area where every animal that comes into the sale has to go through Doc's squeeze chute here. This is the same squeeze chute that is brought to the Ponderosa and worked in the spring and in the fall with our animals. Every animal has to be inspected. It's given a back tag. The back tag is a temporary identification number that is just used for sale purposes when selling each individual animal. Every animal should, and if not, will have a metal ear tag placed in their ear with their own personal identification number or an RFID tag number as well. These are basically their social security numbers for life. These animals are also aged. Some females, like ours, will need to be preg checked as well. Some are given dewormer before the sale if needed. This is also the time where all the information on each animal is taken down and is passed along as sale information for each animal. Once they come out of the squeeze chutes, they go on a holding pen where they are filmed and recorded for video purposes that goes live on our simulcast sale, which is the online portion of the sale. So you can basically buy some bison straight from your couch. Once they're recorded and ready to go, they are ran through the alley, they are sorted and put in their designated pen. Because I was busy during the sale and making sure everything was running right, I didn't get a whole lot of footage of during the sale. But Marissa got some footage of our 145 heifer as we're loaded out and put on the new owner's trailer. After three long days and three long nights, I finally can get back to the ranch. I need to thank Kevin and my uncle Keith for helping take care of the animals at the Ponderosa while we were gone. Hey guys, we're back at the ranch in my face. And nose is red? Oh yeah, it definitely is. That means I'm cold. Yeah, we're back at the ranch. Back home from uh, the Oklahoma City, uh, Oklahoma Bison Association sale and show. Sold our two heifers, so time to get back to work. Now we got a little cold front come through. It's nice. Uh, anyways, hope you guys have had a wonderful Christmas. I'm uh, taking this bill of hay to the Big Joe herd. Get them taken care of and uh, visit them real quick. Sold those two heifers. I'm really happy where they're going. They're going to two people. One, I'm some really close friends of ours that live uh, near the Red River. They got some awesome animals. And then uh, two, some more. Uh, the 145 heifer is going to out in northern Oklahoma, near Freedom, Oklahoma, uh, to some awesome OBA members that have been maybe the longest term OBA members. Um, been, been raising bison since the 80s. Big Joe. Eleanor. Hey, girl. Jackie. Hello, 32. Mama. 
And the little red dog. All right. Time to cut this. Big Joe, what's happening, brother? It's good to see you again. We missed you. Texas 11. Kit. Old feisty kit. Beaches. You guys love the cold weather? I know you do. I gotta get this wrap real quick. Hey, girl. What are you doing, girl? Well, we got them taken care of on a cold, sunny day. Bice and love weather like this. But we had such a great time at the sale and it's so nice, honestly, for Marissa and I to finally get to where we feel confident in selling some of our animals and we have enough to sell. Um, we're, uh, we've been doing this bison ranching thing since uh, May of 2018. So over five years, coming on six now. And uh, you really focus on breeding. We've really focused on genetics confirmation a lot of those things to create try to produce a healthy well confirmation good feet good genetics bison over time and that's a lot of time a lot of love a lot of care a lot of money that goes into it and uh, we're just trying to produce the best genetic bison that we can um, with our capabilities and that's part of that is uh, you have to make money on the side of it and part of that is the breeding side and then the meat side of it which we also do so uh, we do the best we can to keep the best genetics in our bison herd all the time that's a, a big focus one of our goals is just to restore the north american bison uh, restore their genetics and keep what we have that's our goal that's one of our missions is to focus on that and part of that is when you have good stock uh, you want to spread those genetics and spread all that love and care and time and part of doing that is selling good animals and that's what we just did and now that's only two it's not very many but uh there were two really good heifers one of them was bred 145 was bred and the uh 11 was not bred that's okay the 11 two-year-old heifer will come in heat and um we'll get bred hopefully this summer uh but I'll still be able to see her because she's not very far from us in southern Oklahoma the other one's going to be up 145 uh the pregnant Bread heifer, um, she's kind of one of my favorites. She's up in Freedom, Oklahoma, and it's wide open country up there. So those are members that I'll still get to keep up with um, and stuff. So right here is a perfect example. The 145 heifer, just speaking of her, this is her mom right here. This is Kit. Kit uh, came with Big Joe whenever we got Big Joe back in 2019. And uh, she produces some really nice calves uh, over time, and we've noticed that. And so that's a Big Joe and kit baby um the 11 heifer um i see i pulled the hair on all these on these animals and so i wanted to find out who their damn and sire was dunbar was her dad and uh her mom is peaches uh peaches was just around here a while ago she's uh one of the first five that i started that we started with and uh so it's fun to see some of your first generation animals start to have some really good uh, lineage and good genetics and good offspring basically and that can be passed on to other ranches at other places so that's kind of the inspiring thing that we try to do and uh, we love doing and now they went to people that we know which is even better so we can keep a an eye on them and ask them how they're doing and stuff like that so anyways it's it's good to be a part of those sales and not only those sales it's just the bonding that you get with those people over time and build relationships with in this business and uh we can do all that with our members and we love doing that it's just a it's a good time to get together socialize talk about raising these awesome animals and uh it's it's those relationships you can build off of to like you know if you want to buy animals or sell animals you've got that connection you've got those links hope you guys learned something if you have any questions or anything um or interested in raising bison or kind of uh, the genetic side of it and what we focus on and you know 
those kind of questions, leave a comment below. And thank you guys for being with us. See you guys soon.